it's always hard to foresee what's going to come next. I, I'm I'm anxious to see what's going to happen if Trump moves through with this September 25th with Microsoft or um, Oracle buying out TikTok, which way it's going to go and how it's going to go. I hope they don't mess it up too much because TikTok is already like made that that's perfect. You know, I, I think the, the algorithms are absolutely insane. Like Facebook algorithms, you have like an hour. And if you don't do anything with it, you're done. You're dead in the water. These algorithms is like one wave. Okay, pull it out. Second wave. Okay, pull it out. Like you can do like multiple waves. And it's just insane how quick the numbers and the views go up. So it's the algorithms on TikTok are absolutely amazing. So it's going to be hard to top, to be honest with you. So how do you, how do you feel about Instagram Reels, like their version of want to be TikTok? I think it's there. I don't like the whole fifteen second um, thing that you have to do fifteen seconds or less. That to me, it's kind of like Vine, um, which I get. You have to be kind of different, but I don't think that their algorithms are matching TikTok's algorithms because it's just it's different. Like I'm a, I'm a really big geek and a nerd when it comes to algorithms. Like I, I just, I study them and I look at them and I'm fascinated by them. And TikTok is, like I said, you put it out and you could be dead in the water at like 10,000 views. And then an hour or two hours later, you can shoot up to like 300, 400,000 within the matter of like 30 minutes. Like it is insane. Oh, yeah, man. Like it, it is crazy. I had, I think the fastest growing skit that I had I reached over a million views in like six hours. And mm, that's, shit. that's yeah, dude. And that's my, my biggest one on there. I think it's like 9.5 million views or something like that. It's, it's crazy. What, what is that? What was that skit about? What do you think? What was it about that skit that made it that people loved it so much? I think a lot of people could relate because it was um, a story about my life. Like really, like anytime I say tortilla, I say tortilla. And like everybody always makes fun of me. Like, come on, bro, don't say, just say tortilla. Like, no, dude, it's, it's tortilla. I'm, I'm gonna call it tortilla, but bro, you're white. You know what I'm saying? Like they always say that. So I turned that into a skit and it even made a character named Todd out of it. And I think a lot of people could relate to that because there's a lot of light-skinned people like me who call it tortilla, tortilla, instead of saying tortilla, you know? And I always had my friends make fun of me, like, bro, why are you saying it like that? I'm like, what? Tortilla. You know, like they'd always mess with me. And so I kind of grabbed that. And honestly, I didn't even think anything of it. I was like, all right, I'm going to throw this into the skit. I'm just going to chunk it out there because it's content. That's when I was doing the two and a half month straight thing. And it blew up, dude. It became a series to where, like, I said tortilla, then I said queso, and then I said tajin, and I did all these different words, and people loved it, man. 